Hey guys, in this Photoshop generative fill tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use contextual taskbar. By default, it has select subject and remove background buttons. You can hide or show contextual taskbar by going to window and clicking on this option over here. Now, by default, generative fill button is not shown. Generative fill button is only going to show up if you select something. So here I use the rectangular marquee tool to enable generative fill button, which by default will always show up underneath the selection. Now you can move contextual taskbar anywhere on the screen. And by going to the three dots here, you can pin this bar to current position. So now whenever I select something, the generative fill button is always going to show up here, not jump around underneath the selection. Let's go ahead and click on generative fill button and use the text prompt to type fallen tree. And then click on the generate button and Photoshop is going to give us three different versions of the fallen tree. Remember, this is a beta, results are not always perfect. Now I'm gonna undo that and generate a car. Now this is early stage feature, so it doesn't deal well with understanding perspective. Every time you generate something, a new layer is created. So you can move it around and perform all kinds of actions on that specific layer. In the next part of my generative fill tutorial, I'm going to show you another example. So here I'm going to erase the white stripes in the middle of the road. So I'm going to make a selection and type remove white stripes. Now let's click on the generate button and see what happens. As you can see, the generative fill tool understands the remove command. You can try removing other objects with it as well. You can select an entire blank image and generate something. So here I typed forest road on a full image selection. And I have to say the results are pretty good if you need a quick background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use generative fill tool to add an object on top of this background. I'm going to type school bus. And again, it's not dealing well with understanding perspective, but all things considered, the fact that I was able to generate a completely unique image in under 10 seconds without searching Google or using stock photography is definitely going to save you a lot of time. Generative fill is not a perfect feature. So here I tried generating a lake, but for some reason it embedded a fallen tree.